Right guys, I've just installed iOS 8.4. I've had it for a few days on here. So I'm just going to show you what's new really. Uh, mainly it's just bug improvements. So it's a lot faster, smoother, runs a lot better. It's just load smoother and better performance. And the main change is the music icon. If you look, it is now white instead of pink. And if you go into it, it's different. If you go on My Music, you've got your recently out added here. What's got my... I've only got two albums on here, I'm afraid. Here's Coldplay, and you can choose to follow them. It's a different colour. And then here's The Killers. I'm following these as well. And, there. and then if you go into recently out added... Click, click on an album for instance, you get some lovely album art here. You've got all the songs on here. And then you get some recommendants. More by the Killers and also what I like the Killers. And then down at the bottom you've got a mini player here. So if I swipe up, here's your mini player. It looks very nice, very sleek, very modernised. So if I press play... Oh, turn that down, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, here it plays and you can swipe down anywhere. From there, also send uh, control center. It's slightly different as well. We've got a love heart in next to the media controls and a share button. What is new and different? So if I stop that, and you can see that pink bar along there. That's how far it's played along the song. Then all the tabs. You've got playlists for you. That's where you sign up for Apple Music. New. That's where new music is, and you can listen to music. You've got your radio here and you connect where you can talk to artists really. And that's all really. So it's a really nice update. It's made the music application more modern. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, the only problems I found with iOS 8.4 is that it drains your battery a lot. I found that on, on this device, what's an iPad mini, it drains my battery very lot. And yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.